there. Some of you have sent me some mail, so I thought I would video it while I opened it up. The first box is from Tracy in Maryland. I've already opened it up. I love it already. <laughs> I love air bubbles. <laughs> Dagny, please enjoy these items. Hope they arrive unbroken. Do whatever you want with them. I'm downsizing. I'll be happy to do that. Oh, we met her at the, at the um, meet and greet. That was a fun day. We got to meet a lot of people. Oh, she's, she is known as the crazy lizard lady because of her love of bearded dragons. Flame and Casanova. That's neat. They're neat looking. That reminds me of, um, I know they're not, but of uh, Gila monsters in Tucson. We used to, there was, um, my gram had a house and then in the back of her backyard kind of was desert and we would always um, see Gila monsters. So that's neat. That's a neat picture. Oh, look at this one. Oh, Casanova standing up. Those are really neat. I'm glad you sent the. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Flame is wearing a Santa hat. That's hilarious. Oh, they must be docile then if they would let you. My dogs won't even let me put a Santa hat on them. Oh, that is so sweet. Oh, and then she's the one that bought the turtle from my store. Okay. I remember you. I've never had a critter or a reptile as a pet. The only critter I would say besides a dog or a cat, we had our bunny rabbits. But the bunny unfortunately has moved on, but he had a very nice long life. He was 10 plus years old and that's about the average age that that breed of rabbit lived. So, oh, that's neat. Oh, I think this is a bottom to something. This is marked made in Japan. I would guess that there's gonna be a lid somewhere in here. It's in this one. Oh, it's a little pig. This reminds, oh, it's a Nesco. That's cute. That's sweet. Look, he's holding blocks. That's cute. He's like, well, look what I can do. I remember the first time Jenny was able to stack those in the, those plastic on Fisher Price in the same order. I was thrilled. It's like, oh, she's a genius. <laughs> oh, there's the top. Oh, no, this goes, no, this isn't the top. See, I think this is getting close. Here's a little creamer. Oh, that is adorable. And it's marked Japan on the bottom with the little bird insignia. There are so many different makers. I am not, I'm not knowledgeable of the different makers of the brand. That's in beautiful shape. Look at that. Oh, my favorite color. Oh, a little salt and pepper shaker. Oh, with little birds on them. Those are a very nice shape too. Oh, those are sweet. I like how they're so tiny. Look at that. Those are sweet, and they're marked Japan on the bottom. Oh, there it is. Look at that. Oh, it's a set. There it goes. Now it lines up. I was going to say the top doesn't really line up at the bottom. Oh, and here's another creamer. There you go. Oh, that's a neat color. That's more of a blue compared to this one. That's pretty. It has both peach luster wear, and I think you just have to line up the color is just a little bit different, but I think it works. That's adorable. Thank you very much. Those are really nice. You know me, I love anything vintage Japan. Thank you very much, Tracy, and thank you for the photos. It's very sweet of you. Next, we have a box from Judy in Florida. Hi, Dagny. Oh, for your daughter. Jenny, let me send you something. Judy in Florida sent you something. Just smiley happy face. It up. It's a little, oh, it's, oh, oh it's, it's, it's that's like, it's neat. Thing. It's, it's one of those etched things. Oh, that's cool. You don't have one like that. Yeah, that's insane. Oh, look at that. It has all different kinds of fish on it. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> that's sweet. You want to put it with the rest of yours? Yeah. That's neat. That was nice of you to think of her. We have a saucer. Ma oh, made in occupied Japan. Nice. I don't find a lot of made in occupied Japan. I picked up something the other day. It was just a blue perfume bottle and it doesn't even have the stopper, but I bought it because it said made in occupied Japan. Oh, that's pretty. Look at that. Very fancy little demi-toss cup and saucer set. 
I like that color. That's very pretty. Oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, another Occupied Japan. Nice. Oh, some Dragonware. A little miniature Dragonware. It's like a little, um, this Dragonware has a Moriage detailing on it. And here is a little covered sugar bowl. And look, it still has its lid. Look how sweet that is. That's so tiny. Made in Japan on the bottom. In blue. That's so sweet. Tiny little things are fun. Oh, another little um, made in Occupy Japan. You can see, oh, it looks kind of goes together. Maybe you watered your flowers in the garden and you can put them in the little vase. That's sweet. They have a, a very similar look to them. That's very nice. Thank you very much, Judy. I appreciate that. And thank you so much for thinking of Jenny and adding to her collection. Next, I got an envelope from Joanna in New Jersey. She enjoys watching my YouTube videos and she really enjoyed the ones when Jenny and I were opening our advent calendars and especially my reaction to the tea test tasting. So there is a, <laughs> Jenny's laughing over there. There is only one tea grower in New Jersey and they're local to her. So she's enclosed a sampling. Oh, that's very nice. Oh, and she was also at the meet and greet of Lemoyne. And then if I'm ever in South Jersey, some antique malls. Oh, and a glass museum. I've been to the glass museum in um, Corning, New York, but that would be fun to go to another one. Jenny um, made a, a pumpkin. And then she has a little uh, space in Carnival of Collectibles in New Jersey, in Sicklerville, New Jersey. Very nice, Joanna. Thank you so much. And here is my tea sample. That's fun. I know, I'm trying to think of an idea for the next advent to do some research on advent calendars. There's a chocolate one. Maybe like unusual chocolates. That would be fun. Oh, I like this tissue paper. That's pretty. Oh, look at that. Ooh, fancy. Wildflowers. Oh, look at that. That's just pretty to look at. Pretty much tea burners tea. The one and only tea farm in New Jersey. Very nice. Thank you very, very much. I appreciate that. That was nice of you, Joanna. Thank you so much. Last bit of mail we have is from Heidi in Iowa. Oh, that, is it socks? Oh, they are socks. That's fun. Oh, I know who these are for. <laughs> we know who those are for. <laughs> Jenny, these are for you. I saw them this way and I was like, oh, socks. And then I turned them over and they're I thought, adorable. she sent these. <laughs> she sent those for oh, you. Oh, they're so cute. Aww. <laughs> oh, she thought of these and thought of you. Uh, I think thought of you too. That's so sweet. Thank you very much, Heidi. That's very sweet. Jenny loves them. Thank you so much. 2,000 years later. Jocelyn and I got together and we went shopping at the Big Goodwill. I found this hand beaded clutch purse or evening bag. I really like the colors. I do like orange and yellow. And then I also, this is blurry for a second here. Sorry about that. I did find these two sets of salt and pepper shakers. One set is a cream colored bird and the other one is blue chicken. So I thought they were super cute and decided to take those with me. You see a mug in my cart. I was uh, looking at it temporarily, but I decided to put it back. And then I found this vase I thought that was interesting it was heavy and then there were these hobbyist pieces that I looked at for a second thought about it and decided against them and then on the shelf up here is a treats container and I had just picked up a, a false graph treats container the same exact thing mine was also missing its lid a couple weeks ago and I still haven't sold mine so I thought well I don't need two of them if you haven't even sold the first one <laughs> and then here I am just nosing around in the white section seeing what's going on here this was a baseball the Cardinals no I don't really No, that's okay <laughs> I don't really know much about baseball I did like this nativity lamp if we were closer to Christmas, I probably would have picked it up, even though I do sell the holidays year round. But when you're closer to a certain holiday, you kind of gravitate towards those things more than others. 
someone had donated their frog collection. And I thought this one was interesting, but there weren't any frogs that really stood out that I really wanted to take and pass on to somebody else, even though you might be yelling at me, oh, why didn't you get that one or that one? I just decided to leave them all there. This might have held a sponge, probably, the grapes. And then underneath this plate, I'm seeing if there's anything that catches my eye, but I did find this Made in Romania cross. I thought that was very pretty. And the last thing that I picked up on this trip to Goodwill was this cute little distressed um, not he's not distressed, <laughs> but the the style of it is a distressed little flying pig. And I thought, well, gosh, I have to get the flying pig. So here is everything that I picked up on this trip to Goodwill. Not very many things, but sometimes that's how it is when you go to a, a Goodwill or a Salvation Army. They'll have a lot of things and sometimes they won't have very many things. I did go to a church sale just after I'd said, we don't have church sales around here. There was a local church was having their annual garage sale. And so I woke up early this morning and decided to stand in line. And I filmed just a little bit because I quickly ran out of hands. And so I'm going to show you a little bit of snippets of that and what I picked up. I'm very happy with what I picked up at this uh, garage sale, church garage sale. It was an indoor garage sale. Uh, and I'll definitely make sure I go to it next year because I'm very pleased with what I got. So here is the garage sale. The very, very first thing that I found was this Bluebird of Happiness. And it is uh, inscribed Leo Ward 1994 on the bottom. And he has a very, 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 very short beak, but there are no chips or cracks. And then I was quickly scanning the table here to see if there was anything else that I needed. And I found these Foo Dogs. They feel like they're made out of stone. They're very heavy. I don't feel that they're resin. They're more like a stoneware and they're in excellent shape. So I decided to get the Foo Dogs. And then I love paperweights and this had a cute little blue flower in it. So I decided to get the paperweight. And then I found this uh, Fenton, I believe it's from the 90s, Sea Mist Green Elephant. And then I also found this photograph holder or card holder um, at the very end. So I was very pleased with what I found at this garage sale. Here is a closer up view of the elephant and bird and the food dogs and paperweight and the metal card holder that I picked up. And then I got some really special mail for Jenny and that's coming up next. And last but not least, I'd like to thank Mary in Missouri. Thank you so much. She decorates letters and she decorated a J for Jenny. And look, she's going to love it. Thank you so much. It's so thoughtful. That's so, so cute and clever. Thank you for sending that to her. She's going to love it. As you can see behind me, we brought our camper home so we could give it a thorough washing before we hit the road. And also today, this came, so we are ready to have special vacation clothes on our trip to Oklahoma. I am so looking forward to filming and showing you everything that we do on our trip to Oklahoma and back again. We're hoping to stop in Arkansas to see some family and I can't wait to bring you along. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see ya. Boy, he's a barney boy. He's a good boy. He's a good boy. He's a good boy, he's a good boy.